Hi, I'm Bill and welcome to my channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to share with you um, my attempt to do what I call uh, roughing in the focus um, for both my uh, telescope and my uh, guide scope. Uh, my thought is, um, as a beginner uh, and not knowing uh, the correct process necessarily, I thought before I come out here at night and uh, try to guide to uh, have the mount salute to a star and then try and bring that in focus and everything uh, that I'd kind of get a rough focus uh, so I had a starting point and uh, I've got a very tall palm tree that's uh, several hundred meters away so I'm, I'm using that as my target and again just my normal qualification um, I'm a beginner I decided to teach myself uh, astrophotography with a focus on deep sky object imaging. Uh, but I have a lot of resources available to me. Uh, that includes forums, it includes YouTube videos, and I have uh, my first book that should be arriving today. I believe the author's last name is Bracken, and people I uh, have uh, read on forums uh, recommend uh, that person's book. So we'll have that today. So, okay, let's, uh, let's make sure that we, um, we have a good starting point. I kind of gave you the foundation. Again, this is a uh, William Optics Zenith Star 61 Mod 2. And then up here for uh, guiding, I have a William Optics UniGuide 32 millimeter with uh, ZWO uh, ASI 120MM uh, Mini. It's a monochrome. Uh, camera. Okay, so all right, so let's see uh, if this is uh, going to work out. So um, I've rough focused uh, right now the uh, focus uh, tube is is all the way um, in. And what you see there blurry in the background is a palm tree that I mentioned that I'm using as the target. Um, this is um, Backyard EOS, um, and it's, it's, a, it's a tool that I've started to use. Um, when I was trying to decide if I should get into astrophotography, I brought my camera out with a tripod with a Rokinon lens and I just kind of took some pictures of Mars and every so often I'd move Mars back to the center. And uh, this was the tool that I used uh, that helped me. Uh, I'll do a video on it if this is the tool I'm going to use in the long run. Uh, I think I want to use astrophotography tools, uh, but we'll see where I, where I actually land. This is a licensed uh, copy. So um, just a couple things here. I'm going to disconnect the camera. Okay, so it's disconnected. So when you, when you fire it up, uh, you connect and uh, you take the top option because my Canon 60 is made after 2008. It may differ for the camera that you may be using. Um, and so kind of what you get, you get a view here and this is where you can set your exposures, your, your runs for your light frames and darks and all that. But uh, let's not get into that. Right now I just want to bring up a frame and focus. Okay, I double clicked it. Okay, so there's our palm tree. And all I'm going to do here is see if I can bring that in focus. So I'm going to go up to this knob here. Hopefully this camera back here gets it. And I am going to rotate the knob. And what's happening is the tube is extending backwards. And I think I can go... Let's see. Yeah, so I just hit uh, 5x zoom, and so we can really get in there. But again, this is not a star, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. Um, I'm going to go up to my tube now. And hopefully this camera up above will show you, but on this tube... 
that extends as you turn the focus knob uh, is a graduated uh, index. And when I look here, I'm at about 30, 31, 32. So uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to make a notation in my notebook, my logbook, so when I come out here uh, on a dark night, uh, um, that's going to be my starting point for rough focusing on a star. So that was the purpose of what I just did here. Okay, now let's move on to this camera, the ZWO. Okay, so hopefully on the screen, uh, you'll see a piece of uh, software that's part of the ASI uh, suite of tools. I think it's the one for planetary uh, imaging. And um, my understanding on how to focus this, uh, there's a couple of things that you have to take into consideration. One is the back focus distance, which I understand on this guide scope might be from this, uh, this flange here to the uh, image plane, which would be where the sensor is, and I believe that is needs to be 20 uh, millimeters. Uh, I'll confirm these things, um, but um, I had it set at, at 20 millimeters, and this is kind of where it's at. But they say part of the focusing process is you can slide this camera in or back. So let's see what happens to the image when we do that. So here I slid it in, and here I brought it back. And I'm going to leave it just for the moment right here. So again, again, it's not a star, uh, you know, but it, it's a starting point. And at least I know when I come out here uh, that the system will focus. I just need to find the right uh, way to focus it. So, uh, you know, again, just making sure the camera's functioning, the scope's fun functioning. Now, I believe there's also some fine focus that you can achieve through rotating this. And I think we've kind of gone out of focus as, as I've rotated that. And if I guess if I do need to rotate this some um, to get focus, then there's a, a locking ring here that I would set uh, to keep that uh, you know at, at at the place I I have it set at. So again, um, this was just a quick video to show you how I was approaching tr the process of trying to get focused eventually on an object, which would be a a star or you know uh, which would you know would probably be that's where I would start when I come out here at night now we're gonna have some uh, cloudy nights here for the next few nights with some rain so I won't be able to be out here tonight but I I just wanted to share that with you on my process again uh, I'm a beginner uh, I'm kinda of making it up as I go along in a sense but it just seemed to me trying to do some rough focusing might be a good starting point and then from there, I, I can refine it. Um, if you like this kind of content, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, as always, uh, trying to build a channel, you welcome new subscribers. Uh, I'm particularly interested in comments from people that have a lot more experience than me that take a moment to view what I'm doing here. And then through the comments, uh, give me some feedback that, hey, you're doing it wrong. This is the right way to do it. Uh, you won't hurt me whatsoever. That's part of the purpose of having this channel is I learned through the other channel that my wife and I have around cooking pizzas that it's the comments from the viewers that can really uh, help you get up the learning curve. So I'm hoping that'll happen here. Anyway, um, I'm a beginner. I'm trying to learn and I'm trying to share what I'm learning in the hopes that maybe there's another beginner somewhere that some of what I'm doing might help them uh, in their process of learning. So 
Uh, thank you for checking in uh, on the channel. Until next time.